what we're involved in is developing demand side management solutions for utilities primarily in the, uh, in the energy um, markets. But it's a, it's a two way solution. So it's utilities using that solution to address a lot of the issues that they're facing and it's involving building owners. Because building owners are the source of the problem today but they're also the solution to the problem today. And what I mean by that is that buildings are responsible for uh, the largest single percentage of energy consumption and so carbon emissions but also they're then a major solution that utilities can use. So explaining what that is, if we look at the issues that utilities are facing today, um, there's, there's a range of those. So they've got ageing infrastructure. A lot of their infrastructure was built in the 1950s, it's been patched up since then, but if you're looking at the way that uh, the market and society is changing, it's putting a huge amount of stress on that infrastructure and really it's not fit for purpose and needs billions of pounds of investment. To, to upgrade that. Um, we're seeing energy consumption actually increasing. It will triple by, the, by 2030, as uh, research has, has shown. And what that's driven a lot in is from greater use of information technology, the use of the internet. We're seeing a lot more server farms, uh, a lot more gadget use in, in the homes and in, and in business. Um, and all of that is actually driving increases in electricity consumption even though we are implementing uh, new ways of making things more energy efficient. So utilities are having to, to, to face the issues around that uh, in meeting that increasing demand. At the same time they're having to then shut down their fossil fuel powered power stations. Um, so coal fired power stations are being shut down. In Germany they're closing down their nuclear power stations. Yet uh, all consumers still want to be able to turn the lights on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So there's a big issue for the utilities is how do they address that um, and where do they get that new capacity. A lot of it's coming from renewable energy, primarily uh, wind generated energy. Now the issue with that is that that's very volatile. So uh, when the wind dies off, suddenly a large all your wind turbines have shut down and a large amount of your supply is gone. So how do you address that? So what utilities are getting is even though they've turned down their other plants and replaced it with renewable energy, that renewable energy is very intermittent and they need to address that. So those are, are big problems that, uh, that they're facing. The other aspect uh, is that uh, from the energy traders perspective, so these are the part of the utilities that are buying electricity and selling it to, to their customers, they're faced by the issues in the market as well and that can leave them very exposed from a financial perspective. So if they've bought a large amount of electricity um, and a customer expects to buy it and then suddenly their, their electricity isn't available, the trader has got to find it somewhere and if they've left it right to the last minute the price for that electricity can go up, go up 10, 15 times and make them very exposed and, and uh, they can um, have large losses in that way. But if they've got access to uh, a large amount of electricity very quickly, then that can overcome it. So what Honeywell Building Solutions is doing is we've provided, this, uh, we've, de we've developed a solution that's called Automated Demand Response. What that does is it uses the flexible load that exists in commercial and industrial buildings. Flexible load is the electricity demand in buildings that you can turn uh, off and down to a degree for a short amount of time through the day that won't impact how that building operates and the people within it. So if you turn that down if you turn the heating down a bit, or in, in, uh, in, in uh, summer if you turn the cooling down, or you turn some lights off or in unoccupied rooms, uh, and you, you will then reduce a certain percentage, at least 10% in a building is usually available. And then if we're able to do that across many hundreds of buildings, 
we're able to then aggregate all of that through our technology and Honeywell is able to provide that to the utilities as a virtual power plant. So turning 10 megawatts off at once on the grid is the same as turning on 10 megawatts. The difference is when we do that, no carbon emissions are, are emitted and we don't need to put in a great transmission infrastructure in place. So what we're doing is we have an engineer that will go around each building with the building owner, identify where you can turn off and down uh, devices across that building that aren't going to impact the building's operation. We then program that into the, uh, the building's building management system. We install a unique Honeywell gateway device and what that does is it connects with the building management system and it's able then to send that information to our remote server which hosts Honeywell's automated demand response software that is the, the, the brain of the whole system. So that is looking um, on a minute by minute basis across all those buildings as to what electricity is available that can be reduced. Then when a utility wants access to that at a push of a button, they're able then to automatically and in a clean, uh, no carbon emissions way, um, reduce load across many hundreds of buildings. So because it's fast, because it's clean, it's very attractive for, for utilities to, to overcome the deficits that they're, that they're facing. So Honeywell's leading that at the moment. We're finding a, a huge amount of interest from utilities to, to do this. They're from... Uh, the part of the utilities that are involved in transmitting and distributing electricity, to those that are trading electricity, to those that are generating electricity, automated demand response can solve a whole raft of problems that they're, they're facing today. So it's a very versatile solution that for, so from just one resource. And the building owner sits at the heart of that. So the building owner actually gets paid to um, whenever they provide access to the flexible load in their building. And the utility saves money or makes money from being able to use that. Uh, so it's a win-win situation for, for both organisations. So, so uh, from the building owner's side of view, they get all the instrumentation installed for free and then they get paid when they provide access. So um, it, it's a, a great benefit from the building owner to get, get involved. So where are we doing that? Well, uh, one example is, is in the UK with uh, one of the major utilities there, Scottish and Southern Energy. Um, one of their networks in the south of England, in the Bracknell area, um, we're putting in, we've put in an automated demand response system. Uh, we put in a pilot and proved that on three buildings with them and now we're putting in uh, a full, fully deployed system uh, that is going to start off with an initial 30 buildings. What that's being used for is quite uh, a unique application of automated demand response, actually the first of its kind in Europe. And what Scottish and Southern Energy have is a primary substation that is 50 megawatt substation with a peak demand of 48 megawatts. In the next few years, with demand increasing, that's going to be exceeded and they're going to have to make a decision around spending many tens of millions of pounds to put a bigger substation in, dig all the roads up and put bigger cables in. But that's just for the two hours a day in the afternoon where there's a peak demand on their, on their network. The rest of the time, the equipment on the whole network is, is um, completely suitable for that. So what we're doing is, just for those two hours, we're proving that you can turn down load on all the major buildings that are connected to that substation and move that peak away. What that, the major benefit from that is, it's going to avoid them having to spend those tens of millions of pounds. So for a fraction of that cost, they can put in our automated demand response system. When it comes out and they see that peak starting to, uh, that peak demand in the afternoon, putting the excess load onto their substation, with the push of a button, uh, the Honeywell system will reach out and turn load down in buildings that have uh, agreed to participate in the, in, the, in the program, and then move that peak away and relieve the stress on their system. So that's proving that that is a, uh, a solution that can be used for all distribution system operators and so we're hoping then that once the, the UK government uh, sees all the proof of that from the outcomes that we can then roll that out for all distribution system operators 
in the UK and across Europe. And there's a lot of interest from distribution system operators elsewhere across Europe to, to find out what the results of that are as well.